Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we'll be giving you a full hands-on review of the brand new MSI GS60 Ghost. The Ghost is first of its kind and a very important release because it is currently the world's thinnest 15.6 inch gaming laptop. There are many interesting features to cover about this new model, so we'll start at the beginning by unboxing and showing you what you'll get inside and then stay with us as we carry on and go into a more detailed review. As standard, if you order any of our MSI laptops, you'll receive your shift to you in a double box. Double boxing has become so important because it helps protect your investment as it's on its way to you from point A to point B. Not only does it lower the chances of theft because the outside box isn't decorated, it keeps everything else on the inside twice as hard to crush and scratch up. In this particular case, the extra space between the product box on the inside and your outside box was taken advantage of and there's a branded MSI laptop sleeve that's included with your package. Using a laptop sleeve is a really great way to keep your laptop protected as you move it from one place to another if you're going to carry it by itself or place it inside of a bag that doesn't already have some kind of protection. Now as we move to the inside product box you'll see the great care that was taken to pat it down and keep it safe during shipping and also the very unique design of the box. Rather than having the standard opening sides of a cardboard box it has just a pry open top. This extra little element of presentation shows that MSI was trying to make the GS60 Ghost a very unique product, and so the standard boxing that we usually see has been gone away with, and instead we have this nice unique boxing just for this model. So right away you'll see at the top of the box you have access to the laptop itself. We do have several layers of cloth and plastic to keep everything from getting scratched during shipping, and once you remove those you'll see the laptop itself for the first time. I'm sure you'll notice even before we get the laptop fully unveiled just how shockingly thin it actually is. This is definitely one of the thinnest laptops we've ever seen. But what's most important is this isn't just a regular laptop. It's actually a quite capable gaming laptop and that's what makes this truly shine. Now with the unit aside, of course we'll show you that in much more detail later. We'll go ahead and dig into the rest of the box to show you what kind of accessories you'll receive. The way that this box was put together is after you remove the laptop, you'll be able to catch notice of the inserted panels underneath. Removing those panels contains all the rest of your accessories. On the left hand side, once you open it up, you'll find the system's AC to DC adapter. This is used to of course charge the internal battery and run off of mains power. And over on the right hand side insert, this is where we're going to find all of our standard laptop product manuals, warranty information, and driver's disks. Finally on the farthest right hand side we have one more compartment to open. Inside of this small box you'll find an extension cable that is used to plug in the system's AC to DC adapter. And that everybody is going to complete the unboxing portion of the review. So what say you that we move on to take a look at the laptop itself in more detail. Here we are now with a side image of the GS60 Ghost and we have some common coins up here for you to look at the scale of the laptop. A common quarter and nickel standing next to the unit shows you just how thin it is. With the standoffs holding the unit off of the table and the lid closed, you can see it still comes in and under the size of a quarter. Despite the very thin profile that the laptop has, it doesn't feel like any kind of sacrifices were made in terms of the build quality. When you're holding it in your hand, everything still feels nice and solid without any kind of flex to the laptop body. Of course, whenever you hear the term thrown around thin laptop, you're also going to hear in the same sentence, light. And in the sense of thin and light, the GS60 weighs only 4 pounds and 5 ounces on its own. Of course, if you're traveling for any extended amount of time, you'll probably also bring with you the DC and AC adapter. And that's going to bring your total weight up to 5 pounds and 13 ounces. Still, the complete package coming in in under 6 pounds is indeed a very thin and light laptop. You should not expect to have any issues with fatigue if you were to carry this laptop with you all day long. Now as we continue to size up the GS60, we will quite literally show you the size of the GS60. As you can see now with our tape measure, 
Both of the sides are coming in at well under the one inch mark. Unlike the traditional wedge design of most laptops where it's thickest in the rear and then thins out towards the front, the GS60 remains quite the same all the way through. Now it's time for us to go take a high level look at the connectivity the laptop offers. Connectivity is a very important aspect of any kind of laptop and it's going to be interesting to see if the GS60 sacrifices any of the traditional connectivity due to the low profile. We'll start our analysis over on the right hand side. When we take a look at this side we'll first see a USB 3.0 port, then an SD card reader, HDMI output, mini display port, and then a RJ45 connection for your local networking. In the back we'll see some openings inside of the laptop body and that's going to be where the air intake goes so that the system can exhaust that air out the back for the cooling of all the hardware components inside. What is surprising to see and yet a very important feature is that the GS60 is actually a dual cooling fan system. On the left hand side you'll see those vents but also you'll see the equivalent vents on the right hand side. One of the issues you always face when it comes to laptops is heat and then when you make it smaller oftentimes you make the heat harder to take care of. So having a dual cooling fan system makes the GS60 actually keep nice and cool where other laptops might have failed. So with that said you'll see that the entire backhand side of the GS60 is dedicated to nothing more than the exhaust area for those cooling fans. Now we'll take our focus back in and take a look at the left hand side of the unit. Over on this side we'll see the matching set of the intake slots for the air to get into the system for the cooling. Then following that we're going to have the Kinnickston lock port and the DC power connection for the charging of the laptop and mains power. Then in the center we have two USB 3.0 ports and finally we have the gold plated headphone output and microphone input jacks. Now that we've made it all the way around the perimeter of the laptop and looked at those connections it's time to look at the interfaces that you'll mostly use. And that's of course your touchpad and your keyboard. You'll see that here we have an oversized touchpad without dedicated left and right clicks. Instead they're built into the touchpad's bottom corners. The entire body of the laptop including the palm rest area is all a really nice brushed aluminum. Up above our touchpad area you'll see that we have the SteelSeries multicolored LED backlit keyboard. The SteelSeries gaming keyboards have been a really big success for MSI and just recently they've been made even better by advances in the software used to control it. We'll show you exactly what we mean when we get to that software just a little bit later on in this review. Now while we're still in this area of the laptop we'll point out that it does have the Dyne Audio speaker system for the audio and just above that we're greeted by the full high definition screen which is a non-glossy matte type and a 720p high definition webcam. So now that we've covered all of the outside of the system let's go ahead and take a dive now into the system and look at all of that hardware and test out the performance. Our inside the system journey starts here within the device manager. From here we can show you a detailed list of all of the different hardware components the system has. As you can see we do have two display adapters. We have our dedicated and powerful graphics from Nvidia which is the 860 mobile but we also have the onboard video from Intel. Your onboard video will always take use whenever you don't need the extra power of the dedicated graphics to help save your battery life. Our Intel Core i7-4700HQ is what we'll be using for the CPU. And here is, for those interested, the actual panel IED for the monitor. As you can see from the device manager, the hardware loadout is actually really quite similar to what you might find in a much larger laptop. Now we're going to go revisit that SteelSeries multicolored gaming keyboard that we talked about. From within this software, it's actually quite easy for you to control all the different color zones of the keyboard. Not only can you customize the colors in a very detailed way for each zone, but you also have some special settings that actually animate those color changes. This allows you to turn your laptop into a really beautiful multicolored LED light show. But hey, there's nothing to stop you from just playing it simple and picking your favorite color and sticking with it. Now let's cover what's new. This software has been recently upgraded to include some new features that were not previously found. One of those is going to be the ability to change your keyboard layout and set different macro features to each one of your keys. You can take these keyboard layouts that you've customized and give them different profile names and assign those profiles to your favorite games or applications. That gives you the ability to have a fully customized layout for each one of your games that works just for you in the way that you like it. And now we jump straight into the benchmarking section without much warning. Of course this is a very important section and we want to show you the performance you can expect from this laptop. 
Here we've run the 3 d Mark 11 benchmark and we got a performance score of 5083. Down below our 3 d Mark window we have the GPU-Z window open which has all the details on the NVIDIA GTX 860 mobile. And then further to the left we have all the thermal monitoring that we were running during this benchmark. All of our temperatures are very important to keep in mind when you're considering a laptop and its overall performance. Here you can see that the CPU managed to reach a maximum temperature of about 80 degrees Celsius. Down below when we get to the video card you can see that it was only 74 degrees Celsius. Both of these temperatures are considered to be very very good and actually can meet and beat some of the larger laptops out there. So now it's time for us to wrap things up and we we'll usually always conclude our reviews with a minor disassembly of the unit. Here we're taking a look at the bottom of the unit and you do see that there are some vents open to allow air into the system. These openings would mostly be responsible for your components like your RAM and your hard drive because the vents open on the side of the unit already are drawn in by the cooling fans that cool the main components like the CPU and the GPU. You do have several screws to remove along the perimeter of the laptop to remove the entire bottom part of the laptop shell. That's how you gain access to the inside of this system. One important idea to keep in mind is that the very nature of the GS60 itself is going to make it more limited as far as upgrades as compared to a larger system. Some of these system components like your wireless card or your micro SATA SSD are not user upgradable like they would be on different units. However, in most cases, users do not choose to upgrade these parts because it comes equipped with such high-end parts to begin with. You could still upgrade several of the system components if you choose to, such as your mechanical hard drive and the free micro SATA slot. However, keep in mind that if you would like to do any of these upgrades, we can actually do it for you, and we can cover all of those changes under your built-in warranty. Also, as you surely have taken notice, not all of your system hardware is easily available as you first open up the laptop. To get to many of the deeper system components, it requires a much more advanced disassembly. This might be a little bit more advanced than most users would like to undertake, which is again why we urge you to maybe have the upgrades done by Gentech so we can cover these under your warranty. Both of your RAM slots are already occupied, but you do have the one free micro SATA slot, and you'll see that it does use a non-standard micro SATA SSD to fit into that slot. And now everybody, it's time for us to have to pull the review of the GS60 to a close. We hope that you enjoyed this review and it was a very special review for us because we were excited to get hands on with this unit for the first time. If you'd like to learn more information about the GS60 Ghost, just visit our website gentechpc.com and there we have the full product specifications and of course the current pricing and availability. If you have any questions or concerns and need some assistance, then feel free to contact us by phone or email and we'll be happy to reach out to you and get your questions answered. So once again, we just want to remind you that this was Gentech PC and we'll see you next time.